the characteristics of a good research paper in terms of structure and contents. The title page sh uh, generally should be uh, in clear, concise language and it should be reflective of the aims and contents of the paper. The abstract and introduction uh, should be direct and focused. The abstract specifically should catch the reader's attention. It should be concise and the introduction should give a concise introduction to the main concepts. Um, that are included in the research paper to their backgrounds and the a good introduction also identifies the aims of the study and establishes the need for the current study that is reported in the paper. The literature review section of a good research paper um, consists of critical analysis of previous published work on the subject so it's not just giving previous literature in a descriptive way, but it goes beyond description. There is analysis and evaluation of previous studies. And then there is a synthesis of, of um, included of the, of the main concepts. Uh, the literature review should be objective and it should be comprehensive, which actually means that it should cover the most, uh, most of the important aspects related to the topic. Then this section, the literature review section, should consolidate the gap areas. And there should be analysis on the basis of which the gap, the, the analysis of the gap will actually lead to uh, the decision for further exploration in or rationalization of the of this particular study. The good research paper has a methodology section and this section had then subsections including the research design, the research approach, research methodology, the sampling um, processes, the data collection analysis um, and analysis processes and the ethical considerations. And in all of these sections, subsections, the important words that we need to think about while we are writing our methodology is that the methodology and its subsection should be appropriate. They should be properly justified. And so there should be rationalization. What research design has been adopted? What re specific research methods have been and approaches have been adopted? There should be justification and rationalization for those. There should be justification and rationalization for the uh, selection of sample and for the selection of data collection and analysis processes. So you are not just uh, kind of listing these subsections of the methodology, but you are justifying and rationalizing uh, these subsections of the methodology in order to make the methodology section a strong section uh, that will lead to the quality of the research paper. The characteristics of a good research paper also include that the finding sections or the results sections are grounded in the data obtained and they are accurately and honestly arrived at and they are concisely reported and presented. So the finding section, the finding should come out of the data, the empirical data collected for the research, and that data is accurately and honestly um, analyzed and the findings are concisely presented. The discussion section should be based on the analysis of the research findings with reference to other studies, which actually means that there should be critical analysis and there should be analysis of the practical implications. And so the analysis section, the discussion section basically should be critical, it should be objective and it should be comprehensive, which actually means that 
that the main findings are <clears throat> very uh, critically analyzed and objectively analyzed. The implications or interpretation section, um, the possible implications of the significant findings or results of the study, again, should be objective. The implication should be based on the findings and the conclusions of the study rather than, in many cases, students generalize the implications beyond the scope or beyond the findings of the study. And that actually dilute the whole process of, of concluding and, 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 and getting implications from the study. The conclusion section, which is actually an overall uh, conclusion on the basis of the whole process and product of the research should be concise, should be a concise summary of the final outcomes of the study. And last but not the least, the references section should be accurate, reflective of the comprehensive background understanding on the part of the authors. Now these were the more technical sides uh, of, of, good re of a good research paper. Generally, there are certain characteristics, general characteristics that a good research paper should have. And these characteristics include that the, a good research paper should uh, have this knowledge gap. So there should be a clear identification of a knowledge gap in a good research paper. The good research paper should have clear aims and questions or, or hypotheses. There should be a clear conceptual, theoretical, and analytical frameworks. The concepts should be clearly defined and elaborated on. The theories that have been included should be clearly uh, explained and linked together to have a theoretical uh, framework. And there should be clear analysis of the concepts and theories included in the paper. Then the design adopted should be appropriate and elaborate. The findings should be authentic, authentic, which actually means that they are valid findings based on our empirical data. There should be critical analysis, not just description. And objectivity is very important. The, the researcher should remain objective. The presentation of the whole paper should be objective. There should be proper use of precise academic language. So again, language, vocabulary, um, and structure and grammar, grammatically correct use of language is very important. Proper presentation, structure, and format in line with the requirements of, 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 of particular journals. Then appropriate referencing. And overall, the good research paper generally is a kind of very coherent uh, document which is uh, uh, very connected, the various sections uh, beginning from the title and objective um, towards the very end, conclusion and recommendations. The whole document is very connected and it is lucidly presented in correct academic language.